Introduction of Underwater Football. Today in our Sports Encyclopedia series, we talk about underwater football. So let's begin. Underwater football is an underwater sport that involves teams playing football submerged in water. The objective of the game is to score more points than the opponent's team. How to play underwater football? Underwater football is a team sport where two teams compete against each other. Each team consists of 13 players, including five substitutes who stay out of the pool. The match is played in a pool that has a length of 15 meters, and a width of 10 meters, and a depth of 3 to 5 meters with a sideline that is usually 1 to 3 meters in width. The match is played with a ball made of a toy rubber torpedo, and the goals are built by downward weighing buckets. The major objective of the game for each player is to score maximum points by striking the ball in the opposing team's net. It is mandatory for players to stay submerged in the water and to hold the playing ball and aim it inside the goal. It's mandatory for players to wear designated swimsuits with playing numbers marked distinctly along with colored tape on their wrist and ankle. Players must put on goggles along with snorkel and swimming fins before starting the play. It is not allowed for the players to have long fingernails, and they're not allowed to wear watches, rings, or any other jewelry. The match is played for a set duration of 23 minutes, with two equal 10-minute halves, and there is a three-minute break in between the game. In the situation where the match ends up in a tie, an extra 10-minute elongated period is provided to determine the winner for either team. Before the beginning of the match, all players have to position themselves behind the goal line, touching the wall. In the beginning, the ball is placed at the center of the playing field where no other player can reach before the start signal. After the start signal is given by the referee, players move towards the ball with the aim of driving it to the opponent's goal. If any player is disqualified by the referee due to any reason, they are not allowed to come back to the field even as substitutes. In case the ball falls from the player's hand or is knocked down on the pool, the match is immediately stopped and the defensive team gets the opportunity to strike the ball first. How to win in underwater football? The first team that manages to score the most points in the given duration of time is declared as the winner. Friends, this is just an overview of the game, but if you'd like to know more about the rules of underwater football, comment down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.